Brothers Helping Brothers. It's a local men's group here aiming to tackle the stigma of mental health among men. I'm your Green Bay Neighborhood reporter Andrew Amuzu here at Prohibition Cigar Lounge, where conversation is a spark in building camaraderie. And we'll never turn no one away because it's all in the name of mental health. Jason Wright Sr. is the executive director and co-founder of Brothers Helping Brothers. Beautiful thing, isn't it? If it wasn't for these brothers helping me, I couldn't help nobody. DeLorean Walls and Elton Gofo, the other guys who helped build this space. We all may be different-minded individuals, but we have the same like-minded goal, and that's just living in, uh, in unity. The group started after Jason and DeLorean learned they both lost a loved one to suicide. Now they meet every Tuesday night at Prohibition Spirits and Cigar Lounge to discuss handling life's toughest challenges. He likes Psalms. 133 says how sweet and pleasant it is for brothers to dwell together in unity. The Anxiety and Depression Association of America says each year more than 6 million men suffer from depression, a condition often underdiagnosed. The association also says less than half of American men affected seek treatment. I didn't move here with this intention, but you know, I was I was fortunate enough to find other men who you know, who are like-minded, and most importantly, who are willing to do something to correct it. April will mark the group's first anniversary, and Jason says they always get a big crowd. People come in and they trust this circle. They trust it because it's real. It's not nothing that's far-fetched, and it's simple. How did your week go? And Jason says their circle is growing. They serve different communities across the city. I sat in on the group's most recent event, a mentoring session for boys. If I want peace, I got to bring peace. Exactly. If I want joy, I got to bring joy. If I want love, exactly. I got to bring love. And the group says that they plan to continue to merge with other groups and organizations this year, such as the Urban Cultural Arts Center, the MICA Center, and foundations, just to name a few. In Green Bay, Andrew Amuzu, NBC 26.